schools in the state and scores high on the national scale as well. U.S. News & World Report released its annual rankings, and Whitney High School in Cerritos stands up. Susan Yurisuna visited the school to find out what makes it so top-notch. Um, Lodgepole Pines actually produce two different types of codes. Seventh grade biology of Whitney High School, but that's not the teacher. That's 12th grader Samita Kelkar, passionate about ecology. And at Whitney, a passion can start as a project. This garden is actually sort of a demonstration of ecological succession. Then turn into career aspiration. I want to pursue a career in habitat protection and restoration, um, just because I think I mean, I've always had a passion for biology. I think living things are as cool as it gets. Calcar is hardly unusual on this campus. All here will graduate, and nearly all will go on to college. I'm still debating between two schools, so I'm thinking about USC or Stanford. I do plan on majoring in political science or public policy, so a school like Georgetown, per se, would be... Uh, a great school to go to. That's just one reason Whitney is again ranked number one in California by both U.S. News and Newsweek. Thanks to the recognition, Whitney's reputation goes beyond regional, even national. In fact, the school regularly gets calls from parents from Korea, Taiwan, mainland China, all asking, how do I get my student into Whitney? Because we're at grades 7 through 12, our sixth graders, based on their statewide test scores, the top uh, from each elementary school are invited to attend Whitney if they like. Got that? Admission is by invitation only. And once in, expect a rigorous curriculum. AP Language. I move on to AP U.S. History. And then I have Pre-Calc, Physics, and afterwards, Theater. Then sports-wise, I have track and cheerleading. The school has received so many awards, they're not yet all display. Hardly a priority, though. The student's success is reward enough. We all have a set goal to become the best individuals and students that we can be. In Cerrito, Susan Hirasuna, Fox 11 News.